Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohanathanari. Now we are the discuss topic how to create a histogram in Excel stat. So this is for the creating the histogram in the Excel stat. The data set for the we take the pH parameter in uh, 30 samples. So this data used to, to the help for the um, histogram in Excel stat. So the, uh, this is for the Excel software, the add-on tool for the Excel stat. So click the Excel stat, then go to the descripting the data options, then click for the histogram options. So then open the new tab for the histogram, the first one for the general options. Okay, the data set click for the options, cell for the, the column for the A. So then uh, data type for the continuous and the subsamples then no then wait no then uh, cells for the seat then next one options for the options the individual cell for the range the range from the one so the next one for the tap in the missing data so the no missing data in our data set so the uh, next one for the options in the output then cell for the descriptive checkbox the click the checkbox for the descriptive the next one for the chart options the chart options for the histogram selected and the chart type for the bar type so if you want the continuous lines then click for the cell for the continuous lines i want the bar so i sell for the bar so the next one for the cumulative histogram the options no selected and the ordinator of the histogram cell for the density frequency and relative frequency i selected for the frequency options so then click for the ok button okay now the select for the data the row for the 30 and the column for the one column, the row for the 30, the total the sample for the 30 samples. So the click for the continue button. So the now the created in the histogram for the Excel stat. So the first one for the summary statistics. Okay, then the first one for the variable name for the pH. So the next one uh, for the abjuration for the 20 samples, the total for the 20. So the 20, the next one for the missing is a uh, the observation missing is for the zero. So the next one for the the observation without missing data. So the 30 and the next one for the minimum value the 4.5 the maximum value for the pH 9.8. So uh, the average mean for the value for the pH 7.27. So the standard deviation value 1.199. So the next one for the, this is for the histogram graph. So the y axis column for the frequency and the x axis column for the pH. So the range of the pH mentioned to the for the bar graph in the histogram graph. So the next one table for the descriptive statistics for the individual for the pH. So the, this is for the descriptive statistics in the histogram. So the first of all for the lower band, upper band and frequency value and uh, relative frequency value and density. So the first one for the lower band the 4 and upper band for the 5 and frequency is a 1. The total the 4.4 to 5 the pH present in the 1. So the relative frequency for 0 0.033 and density for also the 0 0.033. So the next one for the 5 to 6. The 5 to 6 range frequency, the total the 3 pH value presented for the 5 to 6 range and the relative frequency value for the 0 0.100 and the density also the 0 0.100. So the next one range for the 6 to 7, the total the presented the 8 pH range. So the total the value for the 8 value presented in the pH 6 to 7 range. So the relative frequency value for the range 0 0.267 and the density also the same for the 0 0.267 so the next one for the 0, uh, 7 to 8 pH range the pre presented the total number of the pH the 11 value presented in the total so the relative frequency the value for the highest range for the maximum of the pH presented to 8 to 7 to 8 range so the relative frequency value in the range 0 0.367 and the density the 0 
so the next one for the range for the 8 to 9 ph range the total for the 6 ph value presented the 8 to 9 value so the relative frequency value for 0 0.200 and the density also the 0 0.200 so the next one for the 9 to 10 the ph range only the one presented because the view on the graph then uh, 9 to 10 range for the only one ph value presents if uh, then the relative frequency value 0 0.033 and density also 0 0.033 because uh, 0 0.7 uh, sorry ph range 7 to 8 range total the 11, 11 value present so the view on the graph for the highest bar range for the 7 to 8 the ph range the totally the presented for the uh, 7.64 for average then the uh, highest presented in the 11 so the 11 the value presented in the ph 7 to 8 the lowest for the ph value presented in the 4.25 the because the only one and 9.10 also the only one so the next one for the highest um, ph value presented in the uh, our the histogram bar 627 so the 627 the value presented for the our the graph 6 to total the 8 value those totally the 8 ph value presented in the the second one highest in the 6 to 7 range so the next one for the highest range presented in the 8 to 9 range then 8 to 9 range the ph is the third one highest uh, presented in the value the 6 ph so the, the uh, total the six number of ph the data presented in the 8 to 9 range the next one for the 4.4 to for sorry 5 to 6 range the totally the 3 the 5 to 6 range the totally the um, ph value for the total 3 ph presented in the 5 to 6 the only the 1 ph range presented in the 4.5 to the 9.10 so this is for the histogram okay and created an interpretation method for the histogram in the excel slat software so then uh, if you like this video please click the subscription button and support to me uh, join to our channel membership if you any doubt leave me the comments in the comment box i will help you if you try to practice this uh, histogram in excel slat the data file upload for the, our telegram channel the telegram channel link mentioned to the our description box the video descri description box so the thank you for watching this video.